Welcome to another segment of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. My name is Rick George, and I'd like to welcome you to sunny South Florida. Today is video number four of a series of resiliency videos that we've been filming. Today we're going to focus on the sense of smell and the sense of vision. And as an instructor, it's very important for you to know this. So while you may not have um, live fire training instructors, or you may not have a burn building or something to be able to use, you can use a burn barrel, a common burn barrel, just like that, burn hay, burn wood, and stuff like that, the things that 1403 allow. And what that does psychologically, it works on the subconscious of the firemen that are preparing to go train. They smell that, and it increases the arousal level. The sense of smell is the strongest sense that we have. The most dominant sense is the sense of vision. And inside, rather than black out the firemen, what we have is we have a Hollywood smoke. So we will tax their vision using that, and we will tax their sense of smell using this. And that's very important to increase the resiliency as we increase the degree of difficulty in all of our firemen. Right now, we're going to watch our two firemen walk up as they're going to force the door, very traditional force. They're going to walk up to it, and they're going to go ahead and force it. They're going to set up, he's feeling his door, traditional process of shocking it, see where the locks are, he establishes where the lock are, where the lock is. Now they go ahead and force the door as easily and calmly as possible. Now they're going to go ahead and make entry as they hook up. Things don't always go as planned when we videotape things. So your prop's going to slide. It doesn't mean that you stop and reposition the prop. You just roll with it. Everything else is solid grabs their knees and they go in. And now what we've got here is our Hollywood smoke as they go and make entry. Now their vision is obscured and they still have the sense of smell that they were smelling from the exterior to increase the arousal levels. The arousal levels are important that we work on it when we train. It's not just doing tactics and techniques. It's the ability to be able to increase the degree of those tactics and techniques, but also to tax the senses. And as an instructor, that's important because what you're working on is resiliency. Resiliency comes by the comfort that you have, the ability to be able to stretch yourself and be confident and comfortable in what it is that you're doing. If you don't incorporate the senses, you're not making it realistic. If you're not making it realistic, you're wasting your time, you're wasting the fireman's time. My name's Rick George. This is Fire Engineering. This is Training Minutes. Thank you very much for joining us.